so hi guys on a very quick one let's learn how to design the back cover of a jota so in this particular class i'll be showing you how to design the how i design this back cover in in our previous class we designed the front cover so this time around we'll be dealing on the back cover and remember i told you i charged five thousand naira to just to design this cover imagine if you get like three of this work every day it means you'll be making up to fifteen thousand naira every day while you work in your own house this one you don't need to get a shop for you to get started so let's see how this type of design can be made so this time around let me cancel this thing so now this time around we will be diving into let me go and get the pictures i will use so this time around i will use this picture this particular picture for to design this back cover you know i use this picture i use this particular one in the front cover so i will use this one in the back of then let's see how the design will go now the first thing i have to do here is to create a new page that will be using for the design i can create a new page by if i click on file i click on new and i select the size i want or i can press ctrl plus n then this same thing will pop out then you go to this international paper you select international paper then you select um size a5 we'll be using a5 then the you convert this thing to inches the resolution is 300 and you click ok so this is the background this is the page you'll be using for this design so the next thing i will do is to import the background i'll be using so this time around in the other one i made use of these two background in the other design but this time around i'll be using this one only so what i will do now is i will import this one by dragging it I'll drag it and touch Photoshop. Then Photoshop will open. I'll take it to this button. It shows copy or plus sign. Then I'll leave it. It will add. Then the next thing I'll do is to pick this image. The next thing I'll do is to carry this image. Please don't listen to any background sound you are hearing here. So the next thing I'll do is to pick this image and I'll left click on it and hold it. Then drag it and touch this i'll drag it and touch this bar then the page we are designing will be we open then i'll drop it i'll drop it here at the center then i'll leave it and the image will now enter the center so the next thing i will do is to expand it i'll expand by holding shift remember anytime you want to expand you hold your shift key hold your shift key have that at the back of your head Hold your shift key, then you expand. Then when you expand, for this thing to come back to its original shape, you have to, is either you double click or you press enter keyboard or you tick the good here. You understand, you tick the good here. So any of them can serve. So as you can see now, I've imported the the background i'll be using so now i'll go back and cancel it because i don't need it again so the next thing i'll do is to bring in the picture i'll be making use of so this time around this is the picture i will use to design this front cover this is the picture i will use so what i will do is now i will drag it to i will add it to photoshop by dragging drag and drop then i touch photoshop photoshop will open then i'll bring it to this bar to make sure it shows a plus sign or a copy sign then i will drop it then the next thing i'm going to do here is to use this rectangular 
uh, mark it to to select the part i want because this image i don't need to crop it out i want to use it with the background so the next thing i will do is i will click here then drag to here then i will now click on move to follow my steps i'll click on move to then drag hold left click and hold then drag and touch this bar here and bring it in inside the photoshop the next thing i'll do is to expand this by i'll hold shift and expand i'll hold shift and expand i'll hold shift and expand hold shift and expand you understand so this size might be okay for me i can okay let me reduce it to more so the next thing i'm gonna do here now is okay this size is okay the next thing i'm going to do here now is the this background understand if you check this picture now this picture is more of white color their clothes are white so this background i have to turn it in a way that it will be whitish in color so what i'll do is that i'll click on this background you know i already have white background here that i created here i created that first so i'll push this background now to enter this to penetrate this white background then by that process it will this brown or golden background now will be whitish in color so for me to do that i have to change the opacity opacity will make it to penetrate to the background under it i have to change the opacity by I, this is the opacity option i click on this arrow here then i reduce it keep on reducing it keep on reducing it keep on reducing it so i get to the test i want this test is okay mm, like this is okay for me so the next thing i will do is you know this is a white picture and a white color picture and the background is also white is not so it will i'll find it difficult to differentiate between the background and the picture so the next thing i'll do is to create outline you understand the outline that will differentiate this picture for me from this background so the next thing i'm going to do is i'll click on this picture now because I, okay as you can see nothing is working here because of this image has not gone to its original shape so is it that i click enter key or i double click inside or i mark this good let me mark this good and it has gone back to its original shape so the next thing i will do is i'll select the layer of this image then for me to add the uh, outline i'll go to effect and click on stroke so once i click on stroke i dab i dab on color i click on color then i will now pick let me say let me use this color okay this color is okay then i, I click then i increase the size let me make the size 20 20 is okay then i click okay i've created outline so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a layer here i i'll create a rectangular shape here rectangular object where i will write name you understand where i will write the names of the couple so the next thing i will do is just without me wasting much of our time i click on this rectangular marking tool because it's a rectangular shape that i want to create so once i click on it then i come here and create empty layer in which i will be creating the the rectangular shape on it so i'll just click create empty layer this layer is empty nothing has been added to it then i'll come back here if i come back here then i'll create a rectangular shape this rectangle this rectangular shape is okay then i'll add this color to it this particular color now to this rectangular shape for me to add this color to this rectangular shape what i will do is to click on bucket pen tool this bucket pen tool or paint bucket tool then remember i've already created i i i've already created a, an empty layer so i will highlight on the layer i'll highlight the layer then, then the next thing i'll do is to 
click this bucket pen tool now that I'm using the two. Just come inside that layer and click. Once I click, I've added this color here. It's very very simple to do. Then I will deselect this line that is rotating here. I will deselect it by pressing Ctrl D. That is Command D. Or I will go back and choose that rectangular tool. Then right click and click deselect. And you can see that line has gone on. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I want to the picture we used in the front page. I want to add it here. But I want to make in a, I want to make it in a circular smaller shape. So the next thing I'll do, I'll go back and cancel this thing. So to, to not disturb me or distract me. So I'll go back and select this image. Then add it to Photoshop. Then touch here the same way you normally do it. Then you leave. You raise your hand. It's add. So the next thing I will do is I will not use this rectangular tool again. I will use this elliptical tool because I need it in a circular shape. Then I will zoom. So I will see what I'm selecting. Then you select the part you want to add. For me, I will start here and drag down. I will select it and I shift it with arrow key to make the perfect selection. To make the selection perfect. Then the next thing I will do is since I've selected this thing, this thing, I'll click on move to for me to move it and enter that designing page. Then I'll left click on it and hold it, then drag to up, touch it at the up, then bring it down. You understand? As you can see, we have made something that is very, very nice. This design is okay. So I can expand it if I want. So as it is now, then the next thing I'll do, as you can see, this background now, I will add a white outline on it. So as I selected, uh, the first thing I'll do is to select the layer here. It's already selected. So I'll click on FX, that is FX, then click on stroke, then change the color of the outline to white. As you can see, the outline is black. So I'll change the color of the outline to white. So once I change it to white, I will I would like to reduce this to 15. So now, as you can see, I want, as you can see now, this outline mm, I created is not showing very well because the color behind this are white and the color of the the outline is white. The only place you can see this outline very well is on this uh, yellow color. So the next thing we will do is to create another outline behind this one so that we can see the white type outline we created. We can create black at the back of it. So what I will do now is I will duplicate this layer now. Then as I selected it, I will press Ctrl J. It has duplicated. Or let me undo. Ctrl Alt Z. It has gone back. Or I right click on it, go to duplicate layer and press OK. You understand? So this one under it now is the one I'll be using for the dark outline. So I'll just select the one under it and click FX, click stroke, then change this color to, I can change it to black, and I'll change it to black. Then as you can see, you cannot see any color here because this, the other one, the one on top is 15 and this one on top is 15. So I can increase it to something like 20. Since it's okay, as you can see, you can now see black color that is surrounding the white color. So you click OK. So the the next step now is to add the typographies. That is the names of the couple. So on a quick one, we click on this typography tool. We select it, then we will come here. This typography tool, you come here. We write. Joy. Okay, as you can see, we cannot see because we are using the same color. The color here is yellow, and the color here is yellow. Too. So we have to make this one white. And then we can untype Joy. Then press Enter for it to go on. That. Then Joy and meekness. 
need yes so the next now is to expand this the right up so but as you can see here joy and meekness as you can see here hmm? you can see here what you wrote is joy meekness there is no and so for me to beautify the and i will write the and as a different something as a different right up then i'll create that means i'll create another right up then i'll I, i'll click here for me to create another right up then i'll type and and i'll click ok then i'll have to click or move to move to move to then i will now set it the place i want it to be this is the right place i want it to be so the next thing i'm going to do is to write the date of their event the date of their event i'll write it under here so the date of their event this time around i'll write it under here this time around i'll use black color I use black color because the background here is white, so you need to use something that will come out. Then I'll click here, I click OK. Then I'll write 17 October 2021. And I'll expand. Remember, anytime you want to expand, remember I hold the shift key. That is one of the rules. Then I'll expand. Let me reduce it to small. So it will be more organized. And I click OK. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is to add the ring. The ring remember the the ring i cropped the other time i saved it in photoshop so the next thing i'm going to do is to go and bring the ring and add here look at the ring i downloaded this is the one we used at first but after cropping it i had to save it in photoshop file so i will use it again so i double click on it and and it will automatically open in photoshop let me cancel this thing then uh, i'll have to use this this move to now pick it and drag it into this design part then i'll keep it under here this is the position i want it to be just anything i do you make sure it looks fine it's from your creativity then you click ok you click ok this is how you make money while working inside your house don't need to go out and waka 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 and walk around the market so you click enter so the last but not the least i would like to add my if i, I want to add my imprint imprint is my company name and my phone number so that maybe if somebody likes the work and the person wants to contact the, the person that did the graphics design person can contact me so what i will do now is for me to add it i would like to add it here i'll go to the image for me to because this thing is in a portrait form now so i would like to rotate it in a landscape form so i'll go to image i go to image rotation i go to clockwise as you can see it has rotated clockwise so what i will do in this aspect now is to create a layer and I will create a layer that I will write, I will create a white background layer. So I will click on empty layer, use this rectangular marquee tool, and create a layer here. Then I will use this paint bucket tool. I will make sure the color at 
the up is white so i will rotate this thing so that this one will go down and this one and this color will come up so i'll just click on this side to exchange so the white is now at the top so i will have to click use this uh, paint bucket to and click inside this this rectangular shape i created so once i dab the color will enter the automatically then i'll press ctrl d to deselect this line you understand so the next thing i'm going to do is to add outline as you can see the white uh, object is here but you cannot see because it's on a white background so the next thing i'll do is to click here click on stroke then okay i will leave it at this white this black this black is okay then i'll click enter and the next thing i'll do is to write my name here so i'll just pick the type to come here and click and i'll write my name b star as you can see this is a white right top so for me to see it very well i'll change it to black if you check very well now i'll be using one font so i've not changed font since so what i'll do is b star b star tech ground graphics and prints so i'll add my phone number 0808010 okay then i'll use move to i'll use move to this time around and drag it in so once i drag it in i'll use move to to reduce it so that it can enter inside the shape then um i think we are done so since we are done we cannot save it like this so we, we will have to rotate it back to the normal shape uh, to uh, portrait you know, this is in the landscape form remember when i wanted to rotate it i did clockwise so this time around if i want to go back i'll do anti-clockwise so i'll go to image i'll go to image rotation go to counter clockwise counter clockwise is anti-clockwise and i've rotated it so as you can see this design is very very good and nice and this is how i made it we don't perform magic here we build everything from scratch and this is how we do it understand i hope you the video will be very useful to you and try and make sure you practice practice create designs and anytime you want to make a gra anytime you want to get a graphic design work and maybe you don't have any concept you don't know how you start to where you will start and create all these beautiful things what you just go to your google and browse if for example now if you want to design this type of jota and this wedding job go to google and browse wedding jota wedding jota design you see different design as i see different concepts you pick any concept you want that is nice to you and design or if it is brochure you just go to google and browse about brochure if it is fly away just browse about the particular work you want to do you see many concepts you will use so because graphic design is something that before you create a nice design that will be forget that we are doing it's not easy to have all these concepts in you you understand it's something that will take a nice so to create a nice design so this uh all for today's class meet you in the next class please subscribe to my youtube channel to motivate me to create more content for you so thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next class